To unleash the full power of the federal government in this effort today, I am officially declaring a national emergency. It's okay, it's all right. As long as it doesn't come near us, we're gonna be okay. <laughs> Peggy, we've got to talk. What is it about me that you find so offensive? You seem to be with a lot of men. What? I happen to have a very steady boyfriend. <laughs> you know, I mean, we broke up a few times and there has been an occasional guy here or there, but I'm, what, why is this your business? It's not. Good day. Oh, all right. You think I've got germs? I'll give you some germs. How about some for your keyboard, huh? How about that? Like that? Oh, how about for your stapler? Hmm? That's good, isn't it? You have a happy and a healthy. said the queen the princess has forgotten how to laugh and i am giving you the job of bringing back her smiles to this court when shall i start he asked just then the princess entered the court and everyone fell silent now is as good a time as any she said the jester turned and greeted the princess and he bowed he rolled end over end and when he stopped, flowers appeared in his hand. Stick him up. <laughs> Who wants a snack? Oh, go. All right. A little closer. Oh, uh, <sighs> sorry, just a minor setback. No, we're fine. Thank you for your trouble. Wait, don't eat it without the fun. Just leave. Well, forgive me. I thought you might appreciate having some human interaction. You're in here every five minutes when what we really need is rest. Hal, just go. Please, find something to do. <laughs> Ready? Oh. Well, you got yourself a cold? Oh, that's quite a hawk. Oh, thank you. Get yourself some vitamin C with oh. rose hips and bioflavonoids. Well, the reason I asked you in here is I, I caught your appearance on uh, Regis and Kathy Lee the yeah, other day. That was pretty good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. The thinking here is that it would be best if, if you uh, didn't do any more of these shows. Well, because of the coffee thing? Raver, I'm sorry. What about Sonia Live? Now, you're not canceling oh, Sonia Live. It, it's out. And she's a doctor. I got a thing for Wait, her. Kramer, I... <laughs> Hold. What? Explain your sneeze. I'm sorry? Do you have allergies? No. Is there too much pepper on your salad? I don't put pepper on salads. I've heard enough. Sit over there. <laughs> Come on, I don't want to sit by myself. Uh, that's what Typhoid Mary said, and clearly her friends buckled. <laughs> Guys, help me. Shell then. Come on. Yeah, it's just one sneeze. <laughs> You're on your own. See you, buddy. <laughs> so let's institute a mask mandate nationwide, starting immediately, and we will save lives. The estimates are we'll save over 40,000 lives. You be careful. People in masks do not be trusted. Tonight, a woman who refused to wear a face mask at an Ohio middle school football game is now facing multiple charges. Get off of me! I will not put my hands on the 
Police say the school district in Logan, Ohio, requires all spectators to wear a mask or leave. But Alicia Kitts repeatedly refused, telling Officer Chris Smith she has asthma. When Officer Smith told her she was now facing a trespassing charge, police say she put up a fight. They keep struggling as Officer Smith tries to put on handcuffs. Other spectators, all wearing masks, watch. This is over a mask. Finally, using a taser on Kitts to take her into custody. Over a mask. Tasing this lady over not wearing a damn mask. Were you wearing masks? Were you wearing acid or something like that? Oh no, it's just they're terribly comfortable. I think everyone will be wearing them in the future. I wear a mask for my fellow New Yorkers. My mama, who's a healthcare worker. Nurses and doctors. For my father. For the marginalized communities who don't have access to adequate health care. For my children. My community. Essential workers. Transit workers. The immunocompromised. I wear a mask so we can get back to work. Go to school. Share a meal. See a movie. Hug my friends. Dance together. Go to the theater. See our families. Continue to show support. Take care of each other. Save lives. Stay strong. And this is not the first time disputes over masks in South Florida. We have seen all week long fists flying and even in some cases a gun being drawn. Let me take you to the first video. Let me let you listen to some of it. And in this first video, you can see a group confronting a man wearing a black t-shirt. That man was not wearing a mask. One shopper even seen picking up store displays and walking towards him, shouting an upset over that man in the black tee seen with no facial covering on inside of the store. Let me take you to this next video up in Palm Beach County. Listen in. And this is in Royal Palm Beach tempers flaring when one man not wearing a mask pulls a gun. According to the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office, the man with a gun shouted that he would kill the other customer. Now, the world's largest retailer will require all shoppers to wear a mask starting Monday, July 20th. And in Miami, Miami police earlier this week also releasing surveillance video. This one not at a Walmart location, but at a Latin Cafe location in the city of Miami. And according to police, that victim was outside at the counter purchasing coffee when he began arguing with another man about the county's mask mandate. This incident again happening on July 5th around 6 o'clock in the afternoon at 875 Northwest 42nd Avenue. The video shows the two men fighting, two women, and another man also joining in on that attack against the victim. Authorities now searching for the two men and two women involved in that incident. Back out live here in Florida City at this Walmart location. Whether or not we like it, we're all in this together. We're all affected by this. So let's at the very least, there's a lot of stuff you can do uh, beyond that, but at the very least, three tiny things are, is in everybody's wheelhouse if you choose to do them. Wear a mask, wash your hands, social distance. If you can't do that, I don't have much respect for you. My beloved brothers and sisters, we're living in a remarkable age when we constantly see the hand of the Lord in the lives of his children. Our Heavenly Father and his Son, Jesus Christ, know us, love us, and are watching over us. Of that, we can be certain. At the same time, as you are well aware, we as a global church are facing a unique challenge COVID-19 and its resulting illness has affected thousands of lives and interrupted many regular routines. We pray for those who are suffering and for those who have lost loved ones. After prayerful consideration and with our deep desire to be part of the solution to this challenge, we have recently made many temporary adjustments to the way we worship and serve the Lord. We are most grateful for your faith, your prayers, your cooperation, and understanding. These unique challenges will pass in due time. I remain optimistic for the future. I know the great and marvelous blessings that God has in store for those who love Him and serve Him. 
I see evidence of his hand in this holy work in so many ways. So during these uncertain times, be comforted by this promise from the Savior. He said, quote, I, the Lord, am bound when ye do what I say, close quote. I promise you that joy is always within the reach of everyone who will hear him and obey his laws. Brothers and sisters, please take good care of yourselves and your loved ones and look for opportunities to help those around you, near and far. We have the great privilege of ministering to our neighbors wherever they live. Temporary changes in our normal routine may allow additional time to experience how precious home-centered gospel study can be. Don't hesitate to use the new Book of Mormon videos and other technology to study the gospel of Jesus Christ. We are all looking forward to General Conference. Then we will focus on the restoration of the gospel of Jesus Christ in its fullness. That gospel provides certain hope and help to a troubled world. I love you, I pray for you, and I promise that you will receive comfort and peace as you continue to hear him.